My name is Stephen Kiruswa. I am Maasai. I was born and raised in Longido district, which borders Kenya and Tanzania, and I grew up as a shepherd. My first profession in life when I was five years old, until that time I was taken to primary school when I was ten years old, was to look after sheep, and some days cows, and some days goats, till when the new government policy brought the universal primary education program that made it compulsory for every family to send at least someone to school. He likes to continue with his studies and he wants to become a prime minister. The school started in 1974 as a pastoral uh, primary school. Yes, and the location of the school was in, in the mid of the Manyara Ranch headquarters. And then after African Wildlife Foundation acquired that uh, Manyao Ranch, then it changed the status of the ranch. Now it's livestock and wildlife for uh, interaction activity. That's the point when they made decision to say, okay, the Manyao Ranch School now has to move outside the middle of the wildlife migration corridor. This ranch was acquired by the African Wildlife Foundation uh, in the year 2000. It inherited some of the most dilapidated buildings. This is a new dormitory of the Manyara Ranch Primary School, and it, it accommodates 100 students. So now the student has his own bed. The old school, one bed for students. Everything about conservation in Tanzania and even in Kenya has focused in areas where the Maasai pastoralists have been. For one simple logic and reason that they didn't believe in destroying wildlife. They didn't even eat wildlife uh, for food. They had this strong notion and belief that God gave every people the resource to use and for them livestock was given, sheep, goats and cows and those should be their food. I mean, the others are just there for aesthetic to be admired. It's just for beauty. Welcome to the, to the Manya Ranchi field lot. Uh, this is uh, a new innovation at the ranch, whereby, uh, first of all, it's going to increase the income. But with livestock, you are talking of keeping those livestock for, for the beef industry. The Olpegeta Conservancy has established an abattoir and they are able to slaughter cows and supply meat through the Nairobi market and I think they are able to export some of the meat to Tanzania and the other neighboring countries. They are able to take in local communities' cows at a much better price than they would get anywhere else. So we went there to learn how Manyara Ranch could model Olpegeta. These brands, they have a quality of growing very fast. They are having yeah. very fast growth rate. Like now, we are seeing that at this age of two years, they've reached 350 kilograms. It is helping the, the, the pastoralist that instead of losing their cattle into death, high mortality during the severe drought and so on, they can be bought by people who having, are having the, the, an ability of fighting them so that they can earn more money. I am who I am today in the conservation organization like AWF because of the trust I bring into the program. Because the Maasai are proud to see their own, someone who is educated like me, who is advocating for conservation, that has direct strings tied to their livelihood improvement. This place here, it is a, a building which has handcrafts for sale. In 2003, AWF 
started to assist us, I mean this group. And the first thing which they started to help us is to build this modern banda, this one, which we use for development of the group, of this Maasai National Women Group. And now you are also going to be aware of the significance of the wildlife management area of Burunge, where nine villages have teamed up, contributed chunks of their land that are enjoying together to form this wildlife uh, management area. That brings to them not only the conservation value of what we cherish as AWF, but also the economic value of what we want to see happen in order for people to, to have a reason to working hard to ensure that the wildlife that we believe should endure forever are there to benefit the local communities. I didn't need to be trained to, to be a conservationist. I was a conservationist ever since I was born. So I believe I'm at the right place and I'm working for the right organization and I enjoy what I do. The AWF vision in general and the mission is to work with the local communities to ensure that the wildlife and the wildlands of Africa endure forever.